Myasthenia gravis is a severe muscle weakness illness, also known as the ragdoll illness. Symptoms include drooping eyelids, difficulty chewing and swallowing, weakness in the arms and legs, difficulty breathing. This is Christina's story. In March 2004, I had my second daughter, Rachel. After a perfect pregnancy and birth, I was walking on cloud nine after waiting for 17 years to have her. Then a few months later, I started to suffer from double vision and eventually such severe weakness that I collapsed and had difficulty breathing. I was admitted to ICU after being diagnosed with myasthenia gravis and was depending on machines to breathe and tubes to feed. To say I was worried is an understatement. My greatest fear was for the baby at home. She was only four months old and I knew I was in for a long haul, to say the least. I had an operation to remove my thymus gland and overall I was in intensive care for two months. I missed my first Christmas with my baby girl, who at this stage hardly knew who I was. My family were so worried. They had made contact with the Myasthenia Gravis Association. They bombarded them with the phone calls full of questions which they gladly answered. I was eventually sent home when I was able to breathe on my own and feed myself, but the struggle was not over. It took a long time to get back on my feet. I'm delighted to say that I'm now back to work part-time and living a good life on medication. Without the Myasthenia Gravis Association, I don't know where my family would have turned. They were there to provide us with so much information and help. The association sends out an information pack to newly diagnosed patients and have an MG specialist nurse based in St Vincent's Hospital in Dublin who provides great medical support. It is also a great source of comfort to know that we can meet up with other people who have myasthenia gravis and their families. Ronnie Whelan is patron of the Myasthenia Gravis Association and does great work with fundraising and raising awareness of the condition. More information can be found on www.mga-charity.ie